Ravenfield Multiplayer Mod is an insult to both the Ravenfield community and the modding community of Ravenfield. This is the worst mod ever made, second to hunt down the Freeman. Alright, so maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but you get what I mean, right? It's not a very good mod. But why isn't it a very good mod? And can the issues be fixed? Or rather, how could they fix the issues? Also, so might be as I have for the mod. So let's talk about that first question. Why isn't Ravenfield Multiplayer Mod a good mod? Well, I actually have a uh, little list here of some things that are broken with it. Uh, it's actually called Stuff You Need to Talk About. Uh, movement. I don't know how this happened, but they somehow messed up the movement in this game. Uh, walking forwards and backwards is the uh, only safe thing you can do that isn't broken. They somehow messed up the strafing, which actually on a changelog, they said that they slowed it down. I don't know what reason they had for this. Uh, it was fine before, and now it's just an annoyance. Uh, proning. Proning on here is broken as well. Well, not not really broken. It achieves what it should do. You get low on the ground. But you do this weird little animation where, like, you dive to the ground. Um, isn't helpful at all. And actually, as it turns out, on the uh, Steam community, somebody was cool enough to put uh, how to fix strafing. It's really more of a, a band-aid solution. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all I have for movement. Uh, hackers. Uh, I actually have a Steam uh, username on here. I'm not going to say it. Uh, Lightning Inferno will know what I'm talking about if he sees this video. Uh, but yeah, apparently this game has a problem with hackers. I personally have not seen a hacker that I can confirm of. There was this one guy, who me and uh, my friend Lightning Inferno, we were in a game, and this guy joined, and he kept killing us like through walls and stuff. We weren't really sure how that happened, so we decided to report him. And two people do actually claim hacking on here. Uh, most of the time, they just have good aim, or they get lucky. Um, take take this here, for instance. Sorry about the uh, low frame rate. This is a kind of a potato PC. It's actually a laptop, but don't worry about it. So as you can see here, there's this guy trying to snipe me. I try to snipe him back. I pull up my rocket launcher, shoot him, bam, get lucky and kill him. Uh, In-game, I was actually like really excited, and I didn't know what happened. And uh, something else that can happen too, if... Uh, Say, for example, uh, an enemy is in a helicopter, and you shoot the helicopter with the uh, the condor, for example, and you're actually lucky enough to damage them, and they accidentally kill themselves in the helicopter, because helicopters are kind of hard to control, because the uh, flight is inverted. I don't know why. That seems like an easy fix that you could do. But yeah, say you shoot an enemy in a helicopter with a condor, and then they kill themselves. It'll actually say you killed them with the condor, like I have this thing right here i think i have a i think it's a screenshot I'll, I'll put it up there but yeah long like i think it was at least 500 meters and i guess i somehow sniped the guy with the revolver okay next point uh dedicated servers only there's no peer-to-peer -peer on here so no like custom games or anything like that people have to host their own servers which if you know steam you can't r run a game twice which is really annoying uh, and here's also something that uh, you probably uh, didn't know. You see this? You hold that down, and then you can make a server. But you have to do the port forwarding. So it's basically a dedicated server, like you would a Minecraft server. And yeah, that's it for uh, networking. Weapons.
That's that. Maps. So, something weird about that is, so you have a couple of maps from the base game. They have Island and Temple, and I think that's it. I think those are the only two maps from Ravenfield they have. They don't have any Dust Bowl, they don't have any River Delta, they don't have any Glacier, they don't have any... Those are, oh, Archipelago, that would have been a fun map to play with multiplayer, but no, they don't have that either. And they have maps made by other people. Um, there's this one map uh, called Kingsland. That's a pretty popular map. And so is uh, CQC Hell. That is actually the worst map ever. Okay, that's about it for all the issues. Let's move on to our second question. Can the issues be fixed slash how could they fix them? Or go about fixing them? Well, um, some of them seem pretty easy. Like uh, strafing, they could just speed that up. They slowed it down. Uh, pruning, they could get rid of that stupid animation. Um, that seems like that for there. Hackers, uh, anti-cheat. I don't know if there's free anti-cheat out there, but uh, maybe start up like a Patreon or something. They could get that covered to pay for something. Something even basic and shitty like a, like a Battle Eye. And I know Epic Games has one. I'd assume it's pretty good for, you know, because Epic Games made uh, Fortnite. Dedicated servers, they could add peer-to-peer -peer. um i don't know if that's a difficult thing or not because i've never tried to do it myself uh maybe ask uh, gary newman maybe he knows because you know he made gary's mod and all and that one has peer-to-peer -peer. that's how your friends can just join your game weapons uh they could definitely turn the damage down on the fully automatic ones although it's not really an issue because if you know one bullet one or two bullets isn't necessarily going to kill somebody and the p90 for example, since that's a SMG, it does have a lot of ammunition though. Although I guess it does have high recoil, so you have to be pretty good with that to use it. Uh, maps. Well, I don't know how they got the maps ported over to the mod. I'd assume that wouldn't be easy. I mean, Dust Bowl out of all the maps though, that just doesn't make any sense. That map is so fun, and that would be really cool for multiplayer. And, and Archipelago. I know that's a really popular map, too. So, yeah, that's uh, basically all I have for them to fix it. Now, some of my ideas. Uh, add every single vehicle in the game. You know, from uh, the most recent version of the game. 
it would be really interesting to have some people flying around in planes. Um, fix the controls on a helicopter. That would be pretty good, too. I would love to see that. And the helicopter itself is pretty overpowered. One thing they can do with that is uh, maybe not make it where you could take damage through walls. That's kind of bullshit, you know. Will this ever happen, though? Um, I don't know. There hasn't been an update for this game in a while. I'm pretty sure the uh, people just forgot about the game. I don't know uh, who developed the game. Uh, I mean, I do. The name is Blit Bloop, but uh, searching that in the Steam Friends chat doesn't really help at all. It'd be really nice if this game could get some love and appreciation. Because I've had some fun on here before. Like, uh, earlier this morning... Well, depending on, you know, whenever I get this video out, me and Lightning Inferno, we were hanging out on here, and we were actually having some fun. Like, I never thought I'd say that. I have, like, ten hours on this game, I think, which doesn't really sound like a lot, but it isn't a lot. Not really. Not compared to some other games I have, like Gary's Mod and, uh, you know, Ravenfield, regular base game Ravenfield. But yeah, Kingsland is a really fun map. Um, some of the other maps, like, uh, I can't remember what one of them is called. I think it's like Metropolis or something. That one's a really fun map. Just nobody really plays them. The only maps that, on here that get played are Kingsland, Island, CQC Hell, and this other one. I can't remember the name of it. I'll, I'll put it right on the screen. But, uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. Another broken thing. Night Vision Goggles. They're broken. Um, yeah. I don't know what they could do to fix that. They'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they can figure it out. But yeah, I think that's it. Um, that's really all I have for now. Hopefully this game does get some updates, though. That'd be pretty cool. Because this game really should get some love and support. Because it's a great idea, but just fails in execution. Like, uh, like, uh, like Hunt Down the Freeman. But th this video is not about Hunt Down the Freeman, so. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, so. Thank you all for watching. See ya.